In this screencast, I would like to briefly review MATLAB scripts. So what is a script? As you've all seen before, a script is a program file which sequentially executes a set of MATLAB instructions. For example, taking a look at the ForceCalc script that was presented in some of the earlier screencasts, we can see that it's an M file whose name does not contain any spaces or special characters and does not begin with a number. This script and all other MATLAB scripts can also be called from the, win uh, the command window. So if I were to call the force calc script, all I'd have to do is enter its name into the, for into the command window. And I've entered the name of the force calc script and it, now, and it has been executed. So as we make our way into learning about functions, we should also note that scripts do not take any inputs and they do not return any outputs. So what this means is that we have no control over what inputs we feed into our script, nor do we have control over the outputs that are returned. The closest thing we have to being able to define inputs in a script would be explicitly crea creating a variable and assigning it some sort of value just like we've done here with the mass variable. Similarly, the closest thing to returning outputs in a script would be forcing a display to the screen, such as using the display instruction as seen down here. So with scripts, each variable that is created uh, is placed in the uh, default MATLAB workspace, which, is, which can be typically viewed to the right of the command window. So this is it. So the variables in the default MATLAB workspace can be accessed by any one and any program. So for example, I'm able to change the value of the variables used in the force calc, force calc script that are displayed in this default MATLAB workspace. So if I wanted to say assign the variable mass a completely random and unrelated value, I, could, I can just like I'm doing so now. So I've assigned it the number 5 which has no significant and now the variable has no significance anymore. So we can see that having public variables may not be ideal as they can be interfered with um, and changed to something meaningless. In general we would much rather prefer to have variables that are private and cannot be changed outside of the program that they're used in. Furthermore, scripts do not have any help files or documentation associated with them. Let's say if I wanted to know how to use the sum command, I can go to the command window and type help sum, and MATLAB will then provide me with instructions on what this command does uh, and how it can be used. So scripts do not have this feature, and so if you were to provide someone with a script that you had written, uh, unless there were detailed comments, the user won't be able to gain a further understanding by using the MATLAB help help feature. So what we would like to do uh, is, is be able to reuse this code and give it a distinct set of inputs and outputs. And so this can be achieved using MATLAB functions.